Al Harnett with a one take work love play daily video blog and people told me um, that they thought this could be challenging to do most days of the week I gotta tell you what there's just so much um, I could talk to you about and I'm trying to stay on an editorial calendar and resist the urge to talk about what's in the news today but I'm gonna try to do both because I think immediacy is important so to stay on theme first talking about happiness in the workplace and most importantly healthcare costs more than health one of the relationships that is being seen is that employees of companies uh, who are happiest also spend less on health care despite the number of medical conditions that they may have so what constitutes a happy and healthy employee or most importantly just a happy employee and happy employees definitely fall into about three categories in their characteristics. It's, this is one take, right? Um, the first is that they want to feel pride. They want to feel pride in their company. They want to feel pride in the work that they do. Associated with pride is they want to trust the leadership. They want to trust their direct supervisors. Very important. They also want to feel camaraderie. They want to feel like they're part of a team, and I believe an extension of that is, is not just the teamwork concept, but the erosion of friendship that we are seeing in America. The average American now only has two um, close friends, when we used to have three a little more than a decade ago. Um, I'm not going to inflate that. I could tell you we have one-third fewer friends. What I think most disturbing about uh, to me is, is about 50% of people meet that characteristic, ergo on average. Um, but there are a good percentage of people, about 20%, who say they have no close friends at all. So the camaraderie at the workplace um, is something people are seeking. The interesting thing is from a Framingham study on happiness that was done uh, now probably about two years ago, published in the British Medical Journal, they found that the workplace provided many things but did not provide people with close friends. And part of that is just how we set up the workplace in many ways in a rack'em and stack'em competitive mode for people who work there. So to review, because I've been a little all over the place on this one take, um, the first thing that's really important is a purpose, a sense of purpose and a sense in the, in the work you do and pride in the work that your company does, um, a sense of trust in the people who lead and a sense of camaraderie, um, all very important. Dan Pink and his new book uh, will tell you that in what he calls type I, the innovation employee, uh, many of those things are important as well. Mastery and purpose and autonomy are his three major characteristics. So that's what I want you to know about happiness today. I'm going to give you a quick headline. I have not read the original work yet, but there's a uh, work circulating right now on the internet, especially via Twitter traffic, about the connection with um, health status and cardiac status. And what they find is most important is that when people are young and at low risk and doing the five major health behaviors, so in addition to the four I usually talk about, normal weighted five to nine fruits and vegetables a day, exercising most days of the week and not smoking, um, alcohol does play a role. For people who exhibit all five behaviors when followed for 20 years at midlife, um, they continue to be low risk, about 60%. Uh, lower risk than people who do not continue to do that. I'm going to read underneath that study to understand what that 60% means uh, because sometimes we can inflate with statistics. So this is Carol Harnett with a one take work love play daily video blog and hoping that you're doing some great work today. We'll enjoy some lovely love and we'll not forget to play. Thanks.